What's up, YouTube? It's the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Fashion and fragrance is what we talk about on this channel. So if you like looking good and smelling great, I think you'll find some value in this channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon as well. So that way, when I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. So guys, you see the title of today's video. We're going to go with the designer spring list. I remember a time back in the early 2018 uh, time frame where this was really the only list that people did. It was the seasonal list, but my how times have changed. <laughs> so today I'm going to be jumping into my top spring designer fragrance choices. So I'm going to run the intro and when we come back, we'll get into it. So if you want to see what I've chosen this year for my top spring designer fragrances, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Let's make it happen. We're getting it. And I'm getting this. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump into this video. Now, for me, really quickly, spring fragrances, I think a lot of times certain notes that really um, I love to see in my spring fragrances that really make a fragrance quintessential uh, spring. Vetiver, uh, iris is a note that I typically like to gravitate towards. Fragrances with the note of tea. And of course, uh, things like violet leaves and violet are things that come to my mind when I think of spring fragrances. Green, relaxing florals as well. So this first fragrance is a fragrance I really feel like embodies uh, a lot of those elements that I just mentioned. And this is from the brand of Bulgari. And this is Bulgari Man Rain Essence. Here's the bottle. Bulgari Man Rain Essence, this is green tea musk, and there's this white lotus note in here that really makes this fragrance um, fitting for the name. When I hear Man Rain Essence, I think of rain, I think of the after effects of rain. And of course, when is it typically rain oftentimes during the, the season of spring? You know, when the, the flowers of course, of course are starting to bloom and things of that nature, you think about uh, florals, you think about rain, and I think this fragrance really is the essence of what a spring fragrance should be. But that white lotus is what gives that airiness to this fragrance. It gives that floral quality, but also that kind of airiness that really thinks, makes you think of the air after it rains. So it smells fantastic, and again, with adding that tea note in there, tea is a note that I love in the spring as well because it's really, you know, gives that calming effect to a fragrance, and I love it. So, in the 12th spot this year, from the brand of Bulgari, this is Man Rain Essence. All right, in the 11th spot this year, I'm going with a fragrance from the brand of um, Valentino, and this is Valentino Born in Roma Intense. Born in Roma Intense, and this is Vanilla Lavender, and of course, there's a note of Vetiver. Vetiver is a note, again, like I said, that you're going to find in a lot of fragrances that a lot of other people will probably pick for the springtime because it's really just the perfect <laughs> spring note. All right, so you get the vet the veteran in here, but of course you get that sweetness uh, from vanilla in the opening and a very, very aromatic and kind of sweet, clean lavender uh, in the heart. Perfect again, in my opinion, for the spring. So check this one out from the brand of Valentino. This is Born in Roma Intense. All right, guys, in the 10th spot, this fragrance comes from the brand of a YSL, and this is Y. Eau de Parfum, Intense. This fragrance features sage, geranium, and this one also has lavender and vetiver. Now, if you're paying attention, what did you notice there? Both of these fragrances were released last year, uh, this as well as Born in Roma Intense, and both of them feature two of the same notes, primary notes, which is lavender and vetiver. So again, both an intense version of the original, the issue I have with designer fragrances. But that aside for right now, if you don't have several of the other <laughs> variations of YSLY, this is a good fragrance. At the end of the day, all of them smell great. But again, that vetiver 
and that lavender in here make this a great springtime fragrance. So it is good if you don't have a few of the others. This is a great one to add to your collection for the spring from the brand of YSL. This is Y Eau de Parfum Intense. In the ninth spot, this is one of the most unique fragrances on this list. Again, I think it's perfect for spring from the bottle presentation, of course, to the fragrance itself. From the brand of Hermes, this is Un Jardin Sur la Nail. Un Jardin Sur la Nail, and this is a mango, tomato, carrot, iris, and musk. Those more vegetal notes is something that you really pick up uh, in this fragrance. It's almost to me like uh, you're smelling a V8. All right, so the very unique, that tomato accord that they have in here with that carrot, you really get that. This is vegetal kind of nuance to this fragrance, but again, iris. There is that powdery iris. You get a lot of musk on the dry down. Again, this is a really unique fragrance. It smells really, really good. Um, and I think it's perfect for the spring, even down to the bottle presentation. So check this one out from the brand of Hermes. This is Un Jardin Sur la Nail. All right, guys, coming in in the A spot, this fragrance actually comes from uh, the brand of Hermes as well, but this is Terre d'Hermes Eau Givre. And this fragrance features notes of citron, juniper berries, and timor. And that timor note in here is really what, uh, to me, really makes this fragrance what it is, because it gives this almost, this airy, almost salty nuance uh, to this fragrance. And when you combine that uh, with the citron, you gotta put this on your skin. It is really, really good. Very unique fragrance as well. Um, that's something that I am really um, catches my attention nowadays with fragrances when it gives me somewhat of a unique factor. And that Timor note is something that you don't see a lot in fragrances, um, designer or needs to be honest. And it really gives a, a really, like I said, airy, almost salty nuance to this fragrance and really makes it, in my opinion, something that is really unique and great for the springtime. So check this one out. I know this line, the Hermes line, has a lot of great fragrances. Um, o Intense Vetiver will be another great one, but check this one out. This is O Give Brain. Coming in in the seventh spot, this is one of the latest releases from the brand of YSL, and this is Myself. Myself, and this fragrance features really bergamot, orange blossom, and and Brox and really all this is, but it is a lot of orange blossom. Another note that I really like uh, in my spring summer fragrances because orange, orange blossom to me is sweet and it's, in some instances almost gives a slight uh, creaminess to a fragrance and I love the way it smells in this fragrance. Not anything super creative, but if we're just talking about something for spring that smells great, this can be like the Swiss Army knife for you this spring. From the brand of YSL, this is myself. All right, guys, and coming in in the sixth spot this year, this fragrance comes from the brand of Chanel, and this is Chanel Allure Homme Sport. Nope, not the O Extreme, just Allure Homme Sport. This is Aldehyde's Neroli Mandarin Orange and Vetiver. Man, this one kind of gets lost in the shuffle with that whole Chanel collection, in my humble opinion. Um, Edition Blanche, rightfully, in my uh, humble assessment, gets a lot of attention. A long sport or extreme gets a lot of attention, rightfully so. But this one kind of gets lost in the shuffle. But if you're talking about a quintessential spring fragrance, this is definitely the best that that line has to offer. So check it out. This is a little on sport from Chanel. All right, guys, in the fifth spot, this fragrance very well could be number one on a spring list. But, you know, these lists are about how I'm feeling at the time and what I feel like I'm really going to. I really want to wear and gravitate towards the most. Um, but just on scent DNA and what I look for in a spring fragrance and what you know I feel like a spring fragrance should have as far as notes and how it makes you feel and things of that nature, it could very well be number one. But this one is called Under the Lemon Trees from Mason Margiela. All right, and this one is Petit Grain Lime, Green Tea and White Musk. And again, there is tea. Uh, in this fragrance, and this is one of my favorite tea fragrances, certainly on the designer side of things uh, in my entire collection. Very relaxing, love the lime in here. Uh, the lime gives this almost bitter nuance to the fragrance, but I think plays well with all of the greener uh, aromatic touches that this fragrance actually has. So I think it would have worked better than an actual note of lemon or just a bergamot. Uh, if you understand what I'm saying, that bitterness from the lime is perfect in this fragrance amazing spring designer fragrance that you, in my humble opinion, will be 
uh, doing yourself a favor to add to your collection. From the blend of Mason Margiela, guys, check out Under the Lemon Trees. All right, guys, going back with number four, this is a classic that I've had in the collection for a few years, and I've been just kind of holding on to it because it's discontinued, and it is very hard to get your hands on this now. Um, probably going to be hard-pressed to find this for under 250 bucks anywhere. It's from the brand of Gucci. This is Gucci Pour Home 2. Gucci Pour Home 2. This is Violet Lee's Black Tea Cinnamon and Tobacco Leaf. I truly fully understand now why so many people hold this fragrance in such high regard. Not just the fact that it's discontinued, but it's one of those fragrances that I think for a lot of people it was uh, kind of holds true to the phrase, you don't miss what you have until it's gone. And when this fragrance became discontinued, um, you saw the love and appreciation that people had for it because a lot of folks were clamoring to get their hands on a bottle of this. I was fortunate enough to get into fragrances where this wasn't discontinued yet, so I was able to get a bottle at a, a pretty reasonable price. I think I paid 80 or 90 bucks for it when I got it. Now look at what is the value that it holds. Perfect fragrance for the spring. The violet leaves in here, of course the black tea. The tobacco leaf adds just the right touch, giving that uh, unique factor that I can reach for this when I want something different for the spring and it's still quintessentially spring. So check it out if you can, get a sample or something like that. Or if you have a bottle, cherish it. This is an amazing fragrance from the brand of Gucci. This is Gucci Pour Home 2. All right, guys, now coming in in the third spot, this fragrance was released last year from the brand of Giorgio Armani. This is Aqua Digio Parfum. Aqua Digio Parfum. This is Rosemary, Geranium, Orbitum, and Patchouli. This, to me, is kind of a reinterpretation of Aqua Digio Profumo with a slightly more green kind of aromatic quality to this fragrance compared to the Profumo, but I love it just as much. It's perfect for the spring. From the brand of Giorgio Armani, this is Aqua Digio Parfum. All right, guys, coming in in the number two spot. I'm thinking now, if I did my top 10 designer fragrances of all time, or my 10 designer fragrances for life, this fragrance now may be in the running to enter into that top 10. I love it that much. I have a small bottle. If anybody has a 3.4 ounce bottle and they would like to uh, to sell it, let me know. From the brand of YSL, Lion Weed Alone, Blue Electrique. This is cardamom, lavender, geranium, and vetiver. I don't even have the words to tell you how good this stuff is, but if you're privileged enough to have it or get your hands on it, it's an amazing fragrance. And that's why it's in the number two spot. Love the use of the vetiver uh, in this fragrance. You just gotta check it out, guys. It has, uh, it's going to remind you of the original um, Lana Weed Alone, but it has that kind of blue thing going on here, and they just seem to work well together in this fragrance. So, number two for my spring designer fragrances this year goes to this one from the brand of YSL. It's Lana Weed Alone, Blue Electric. And coming in in the number one spot. This fragrance comes from the brand of Dior, and this is Dior Homme Sport. This is the 2012 iteration of this fragrance, which has ginger, iris, and cedar wood. Look, you, if you look online, you can find some people that kind of argue the point for the 2008 version of this fragrance, but it ain't even close to me. The best version of this fragrance is the one that had the iris in it, which is this one, 2012. This fragrance only comes in a 50 ml and 100 ml, so that's one of the easier ways to tell whether you have uh, got, can, have gotten your hands on a 2012 uh, version of this fragrance or something in 2017 um, or more recent than that. But this thing is phenomenal, man. The iris here is the perfect amount of iris here to give that really powdery, almost it's a creamy nuance to this fragrance as well that the other ones version of this fragrance just do not have. There's some really green undertones to the fragrance that uh, combines well with that spicy uh, ginger in the opening. This is one of my favorite designer fragrances of all time. Such a sad thing when fragrances like this get discontinued, but I'm glad I have a bottle. And this is gonna be my number one designer fragrance for 2024 for the spring. Your own sport, 2012. 
But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you the top 12 designer fragrances that I plan on wearing this upcoming spring of 2024. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.